Hey, Matt here with 88HVAC. Uh, today I'm going to be going over um, some basic stuff about a Taiko Radiant XPB block. Um, what is this machine? Well, this XPB block basically takes hot water from a heat source like this high efficient Takagi AO Smith instantaneous hot water heater and as you can see it takes it from the bottom piped it up into the supply and it comes out cold right because why in the back we got a flat plate heat exchanger that keeps the hot water from your domestic separate from your radiant loop side which is on this side okay so basically um, this thing has two sensors and it will speed up or slow down depending on what it needs and in conjunction of these pumps speeding up or slowing down again if you speed up the water flow this Takagi will speed up too and go up on high heat but as you can see it's running and we're just cruising on low speed very energy efficient very comfortable and um, pretty easy to install as you can see so um, one of the biggest things that we come across if you're going to do this or uh, do it yourself or is you got to follow your, your your piping and what we got right here is we got a check valve okay and what this thing does is as we bring the radiant water back we're stopping it right there at that check valve or else the water will flow back or flow forward in most cases and when you're turning on your faucet to get hot or even cool water on the hot water could get cold and your cold water could get warm or hot sometimes depending on uh, what the closest uh, faucets up there are going to be um, another thing to notate is that little uh, filter right there if you got dirt or debris flying into your pipelines incoming water right or if you haven't cleaned out your um, yeah pretty much your domestic water that thing will get clogged up and uh, if your instantaneous ever stops working um, and you got little water flow going through your faucets most definitely shut everything down check that filter it's a very very fine filter and clean her out and then put her back in um, if you go across or come across it happening to you more than once or twice, I would say two or three times, then I would suggest cutting in a nice 10 inch uh, filter, inline filter for your water supply so you don't have to mess with that filter anymore. Um, most of the time you don't have to deal with it because it doesn't get clogged up, but it's one in a hundred chances um, it does happen. Okay, so anyway. The third point I want to touch bases on is how do you hook this um, guy up? And basically there's an end switch inside of this control. Okay, and what we did is we took a red and white wire from a Nest thermostat and we um, are controlling this radiant um, block by a Nest thermostat. Basically what we had to run to the Nest was three wires. So you have red, common and W for heat call and we ran 24 volts directly to the nest and then uh, from the transformer and then we took the R and the W from the nest and landed it into this take a block board or take a X block um, to activate it um, if you got any questions give us a call we can help you out um, our information's right there We're always in San Francisco, Peninsula, and Marin. So, um, happy radiant heating and have fun.